chat. This guy's build? All right, everyone quiet down. Everyone quiet down. This build is what every F2P should try to get. So how's your Farina? Um, Splendor, okay. Golden Troop, okay. Looks already pretty good. 677, sure. You didn't need to level the normal attack though. Uh, wow. That's really impressive. How much, how do you have this much recharge with Splendor? Holy. <laughs> okay, that's good though. That's good. That's rare. I have not seen a plus 100% on the substat. What do we got here? Okay, actually not bad. Okay. Okay. Oh. Con Q, I think this is an HP timepiece angle. I have never seen someone get that oh, many substats. Me, dude. Yeah, if you're feeling a little bit lackluster on this, this might be an HP timepiece angle if you want. No, don't have to. Is. But 200 reachers is definitely time, way more than and enough. Give another one. This splitter reforged. What constellation are you? I don't like. I don't like it. Immediately. I don't like it. I don't want to use Miss Splitter. What's your recharge? Oh, uh, okay. I it's it's okay. So uh, it's not that bad. Serena it was. It, I was gonna have a problem with your region, but your region is actually good. Plus forty-one percent. Okay, that's fine then. Um, how are the pieces? These are really good pieces. Holy, f you're cringe and you. I need that timepiece, brother. I'm telling you right now, I need this timepiece. HP Goblet is mid, but you rolled the right. Oh, dude, your wait, your Freen is actually really good. Dude, you know what this is? This is actually, this is actually, you should pull for her signature weapon. You actually have such good Don't artifacts you look for her. The artifacts are so good that this is a signature weapon angle. Miss Splitter Reforce seems a sad CBH. But yeah, I mean, it, it's it's good. I'm not gonna change that. Uh, Farina. Splendor R5! Wow! C6! I am very sad that you went level 8 on normal attack. I am deeply sorry to inform you that her burst improves her damage more than her normal attack does for her charge attack. C6, trust the process. Chat, do you know how much damage increase leveling up her normal attack talent gives her for C6? It gives her like 0.1%. Guys, dude, there's no way you're telling me you're gonna level up these multipliers are attack percent dude you're dude you get more value leveling up her fanfare you get more value from this number listen it'd be fine if her attack scaling was actually meaningful <laughs> this is why you guys need guides i understand now you know i sometimes say to myself man you know why would anyone need a guide these characters are so easy then i read my chat it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let me look at your other stuff. Let me look at your other stuff. Is your build good? <laughs> Brother took zero recharge to a whole new level. All right, you know what? It's 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 fine though. It looks. It lo How are your pieces? Okay, okay. No, brother, you need a new timepiece. Okay, you will. Yeah, I. You, I need you to get a new timepiece for my sake. I cannot look at this on your C6 Farina. Okay. Hydro Goblet. Okay, good enough. Nice. Mask? Okay, passable. It's the best I can do. Okay, it's the best you can do. I won't judge you, but you should go crit rate. Like, I'd be much more impressed if this were 90 crit rate and 230 crit damage. I'd be much more impressed. The build is good. It, it, it does damage. It does what it needs to do. Uh, the HP with C2 is going to be what? Plus 21k? How much is 140% by the way? 21k. Yeah, so uh, 21k. So you're at 50,000 HP. Which is good. Totally fine. Um, Yeah. It's, it's it does what it needs to do this recharge even at c4 monohydro should not have a problem but if you do anything other than monohydro you won't have an uptime on it do i switch over to hp goblet no you don't c2 plus is hydro goblet always uh farina flex time flu <laughs> sound fairy man slip did you not play in 1.2 oh god it's okay you know what he doesn't have it. All right, that's good. That's your your second best. C2, okay. Uh, level eight birds. Okay, this looks good. Wait, chat. This guy's build? All right, everyone quiet down. Everyone quiet down. This build is what every F2P should try to get. I, I, I don't even, this, these. Ooh, look at that. Look at those stats, bro. 
60, 135, 255 CV, 200 recharge for Rena. Woo! That's juiced, brother. That is juiced. What do we got? Okay, that one's mid, 35 CV. Okay, 42 CV. So where's mine? In the emblem domain, brother. You wanna explain that to me? How'd you do that? How'd you do this, bro? What's your secret? Wow. Wow, okay. This guy is living the high life. He got the two hardest pieces in the game at 40 CV. Wow. You're a courageous f HP recharge 33 crit damage. Oh, this guy. Uh, this guy is this 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 guy. This guy high rolled. This guy high rolled quite a bit. Chat. This is cheating. Their HP should not be this high because they have ER time piece. I feel like this is either double hydro or I think it's a double hydro cheat. It would make more sense if it was actually no, it should be fine. I think it's double hydro. I think it's a double hydro. Because you don't have any HP substats except for one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this this is what F2P Farina should look like. Wow, this stat distribution is insane. Holy sh this is this is this is beautiful. This is literally if there was if there was a magazine that showed the best F2P Farina, this is what it would look like. Because this is as recent as can you you fished for this. Sh this brother R5 the Fluff song. Jesus. Okay. By the way, Slip, I do think that HP timepiece is way better for you because with Fluff song you are 232 recharge, but I guess that covers all bases. That even covers when she's in a solo hydro, zero particle generating theme. So, I mean, it's not even that bad. Like you'll always have your burst up, which is great. That's nice. I don't get how his HP is so high. Is it C2? No, C2 doesn't show. I don't know. I don't know. It should not be plus 17K though. It should be plus 12 about. I don't know why. I don't know why. Wow, look at these fishermen. Fluff song, got a fairy man. Golden Troop as well. C2 as well. Okay. How are the stats? It sucks that you literally have your review right after a build that literally has the same thing, just worse stats. Like, you see, like, yeah, it's... But your HP is better. Your HP is better. So, your recharge, good. Um, yeah. Okay. How are the pieces? That's good. That's 35 CV. That's good enough. That is great. Oh... If you had a crit rate mask here, bro. No, you don't need a crit rate mask. If you just had a better crit damage mask, you'd be way better. Yeah, if you just had better crit damage mask. Look at my uh, Farina. C6R1. You level 80 to her E. It's not that bad. Burst would have been better, though. No! No, no, no. No. Okay, Mo Kick. You will learn in my guide. Okay, in my guide, I explain this for my C6. I know a lot of people in my audience, by the way, there's like 10% of you guys that are C6 for Rena. So like in my guide, I put a lot more emphasis on C6. In my C6 guide, I specifically explain why it's worse to put an HP mask. Please go back to crit. You're, you, it is it is a loss in DPS no matter where you are in the game, even with the signature weapon, okay? Because let me just give you a, a, a example. C2, you're at 70,000 HP. So 46.6% HP is giving you less than 10% DPS increase. Whereas a crit mask would be giving you 30%. Like, it's a pretty big difference, okay? 46% HP gives you about 7 to 8k HP. And your current build is about 11% DPS. 62% crit damage mask with your current crit, crit crit damage is giving you 30%. So it's pretty significant. Is this for 100k HP Farina? I mean, it's just, just don't. Like, you're you're just making yourself weaker. Does C2 allow you to run a single target healer with Farina? No. C2 does not change who you run a team with. In fact, C2, you actually want to have a strong healer because your buff uptime is, is 100%. Like, if you can get instant stack to full, it's best. Okay. R1, golden, C2, 8, burst, good. Good. Good thumbs up. Very good build. Love this build. You went ER timepiece? Good. Holy! You f***s are disgusting. High rollers, dude. Actual high rollers. Uh, feathers mid. Oh! <laughs> That's unlucky. 
Unless you're doing Vape Farina. Vape Farina only really exists on the team that uses Xiangling. But we will not get into that. Okay, anyways. Okay, Wolf Fang. Okay, first I've seen this one. You already R2'd it? Two battle passes already have finished? Oh, okay. Hey, hey, looks good. Hey, looks really good. Good HP. Good crit crit damage. Ooh, this good. This is good. Good, good. Uh, your artifacts must be cracked. Good. Insane. <laughs> you don't see that every day. The roll value on this piece is kind of nuts. What is this roll value? This is 50% roll value, right? 50% roll value is equivalent to a four line. It's equivalent to like a 50 CV piece. In terms of the recharge that's 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 very nice okay okay your mask sucks xd <laughs> otherwise this build's really good it's just a mask that's it whoa i didn't see the weapon yet i didn't see the weapon yet splendor 9242 are you c6 no you're not you're okay your build's trash sorry I hate to break it to you uh this recharge is too low you should run er timepiece you should run er timepiece just 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 do it just do it just running your time piece. That's not that bad though. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. 18.7 crit rate. Oh, hey, Nug. I hate to break it to you, but the way to solve this build is you gotta get C4. It's the artifacts are too good. You wanna you wanna spend for C4, brother? Those artifacts are hard to fix. Yeah, these artifacts are kind of juiced, not gonna lie. 18.7 crit rate on that piece. That's perfect. That's 40 CV. That is still good. Yeah, this looks like a C4 angle. Million. Splendor, four golden troop, 177, okay. This looks good, 85, high crit, high crit damage, high recharge. Um, This looks like an ER timepiece. It is, good stuff. HP goblet, good. Uh, No changes needed. Good, good build, good build, good build. Insane. Okay, recharge valuable there. Really good. HP goblet. Oh. Well, I mean, you still have room for 15 to 20 crit damage then, because this is... Yeah, then you'd be done, and You'd be actually a really good build. 85, 250 is what you would have after that. Can I change to ER timepiece? Let's see. Depends on your current ER. Splendor, golden troop, C2. Okay, are you hydro goblet? You are. Recharge too low, but... Whoa, 99.6 crit rate. Okay, that's fine. That is moderately unlucky, but not the worst piece. Okay, you said you have an ER time piece, but I will lose 10 crit rate and gain 12 crit damage. Well, re re you need the ER, so yeah. Wow, that is hard carrying your build right now. Holy. Okay, that's really good as well. This HP is kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah. E e e ER time piece for sure. ER time piece for sure. Uh, you still need to fix your flower and your feather, by the way. But yeah, ear type is definitely. This is not bad. The crit rate is just low. Splendor of Tranquil Waters. This is just a work in progress build, right? Fails. Um, as long as you are ER HP. Okay, looks good. Uh, this would have been fine for an older build, but yeah, you just go crit rate. Go crit rate. Yeah, go crit rate. Okay, that's it. Otherwise, good. ER HP crit rate is good. Flower. Yeah, you just need better artifacts. That's all. Not even that bad. My Furina circlet is irreplicable. Are you telling me? Let me just see. Really quick. Are you trying to tell me you have an HP circlet? Oh, I see. 45 roll value. Yeah! 45 roll value. That is, that is... Two rolls crit damage, one roll HP, one... This actually, these are all high rolls too. If you had a four line, this would be so beautiful, man. If you had a four line and it rolled into one of those stats, it would be picture perfect. But that is great. That is amazing. 45 roll value. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. R5, C6, 7, 7. All right, Parasox. All right. All right. Honestly, I should try this out. I did not mention this in my guide, by the way. Because I do think that four Marasasi is still better than this. But let's see how it is for you. Actually, actually an impressive build. You don't need recharge on a four-piece Sundering Fury because you're just resetting her E. And she's on field, so you can be collecting all the particles. That crit rate and crit damage are juicy. Where's your Hydro Goblet? Bro, ain't no way. Ain't no way you're C6 and running this. 
Really? Is that the best HP off piece time piece that you have? Parasox, listen, buddy. All right. This is definitely a Hydro Goblet angle. How are your other pieces? Hey, that looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Nothing super impressive, but it does the job done. Definitely not like the other Farinas, the first fourth piece Thundering Fury one. I kind of probably should try that out, chat, right? I should make a video on that. That'd be cool. You guys would want to see that. Oh, okay. I guess I guess there's an explanation needed for those of you who don't know. So this is C6 build, right? C6 means that when she activates her E, she gains normal and charge attack, uh, hydro infusion, normal charge plunging, hydro infusion. So what the idea behind this build is, all you do is you do like basically like a taser-esque comp, right? You do electro charge damage, um, or you could also do hyper limit, but most of the time it's going to be electro charge damage. Um, and then it lowers the cooldown of her E, allowing you to reset her E more often, which gives her more of her in hydro infusion. That's just it. It just basically allows her C6 uptime to be a little bit higher. Probably about 30% higher. So like the cooldown would be instead of 15 seconds, it'd probably be like 10 to 12. Uh, Farina, Splendor, Four Piece Golden Troop, C0, Burst. Okay, good. Why does she have EM though? It might be from your sub stats. I don't know why she has EM. Okay, the crit could definitely be higher. Definitely lacking in crit. Not bad. Good. Good enough. Okay, it's just from your sub stat. That's good. Yeah, okay. So that EM is unfortunately a pretty... I mean, I guess it could be useful if you do decide to do forward bait Farina. If you want. Uh, so your Farina is... This looks really good, man. HP is better. Oh, no, your C2. Hydro is better. Hydro is better. R1 weapon in C2, probably an HP goblet angle still. Still? Are you sure? The Splendor of Tranquil Waters really add that much damage bonus. 24% at R1. Then you also get 14% H max HP. I think this is still at a Hydro Goblet angle, if you can get it. 55k HP currently. Um, if we drop the HP Goblet, it's going to be about 50,000 HP. And then I think Hydro Goblet is still more damage. The Sands is ER, so uh, well the Sands has 15% HP, so it's not it's not actually as much loss as you think it is. It's only a 30% loss. If you want to nitpick this build, I would run it through a, an optimizer. But my gut tells me that Hydro Goblet should probably still eke out a little bit, even if it's just like two to five percent. Current with Festering or Primordial Jade Cutter. 77 in crit right now. Well, actually, well, you're R2, so it's probably more like 70 crit rate. Um, this build looks good. And then you have your Jade Cutter build. You are one of the few people where your Jade Cutter build is better than your Festering Desire build. And the only reason why that is possible is because your substats on your on your timepiece and your feather are really well distributed. That is nice. I like this. So, Chad, if we look at the Promoto Jade Cutter build, the difference is pretty big, right? The Jade Cutter build has 31% HP from the two pieces that were swapped off. So, if you look at the current build, this build, right? Oh, wait, it has the same amount of HP. Okay, I lied. Well, it's it's 16% HP difference, which is exactly what the Jade Cutter gives. You're not, basically not losing any HP. You're gaining a 44% cur rate, and then you're trading the timepiece. Oh, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like this build. That's good. Dia. I finally lost to her, and her weapon has been waiting since her banner. Beacon of the Red Sea. Bacon, four-piece emblem. Is that recharge okay for a C0 Dia? I think it might be a little bit struggle. So I think Dia usually aims for 200% with emblem. This might need substats. Do I use HP, Sands, or keep attack? So you're not... Chat, which constellation was it? C1 or C2? One of Dia's constellations makes it so HP timepiece is better. You don't have any, so attack is better. Okay? So just no matter what you do, attack is better for you specifically. Um. Wow, what a piece. You don't have Yalan? Are you sure you don't have Yalan? Damn, that is a f***ing Yalan beauty piece right there. F*** me. Okay. So personally, if you are not having recharge problems... This timepiece is fine. If you're having recharge problems, you should run an ER timepiece. And I don't know, it depends on the teammates that you're running, but you should be able to supplant your attack with teammate buffs. It should not be that bad. Yeah, I don't know what team you're using. Most of the time, Dia teams are Monopyro, right? You're probably running Bennett, Shaolin, Kazuha. That's usually the team. Um, and while Dia doesn't make that team any stronger, she does add interruption with this, which is quite nice. 
Uh, but yeah, you're gonna have better on that team. So running ER typees is not a waste. That being said, in a mono pyro team, if you have maybe a one Favch, Bennett, Xiangling, Kazuo usually does not wield Favch, right? Xiang is usually on the catch or something more offensive. And Bennett's use it usually on a high base attack weapon or Favch if you don't care about that, you want more energy uptime. So Bennett's the only character that could probably run Favch in that comp. So you're either running zero or one Favch, in which case this energy is going to be a little bit suffocating. Savahoma, pretty standard. Four-piece Crimson, nice. C1, nice. Crown normal attack, nice. Oh my! That's a good Hu Tao. 76 crit, 96 crit damage, that's a good Hu Tao. 81.6 crit, 250.9 crit damage. Wow, what a lovely, nice Hu Tao. The elemental mastery is 140, which means you're... Oh, you're running HP timepiece. You have 7 EM substats. Okay, this is good. Nowadays, uh, having this EM is, is not that bad because there's a lot of supports down to transfer elemental mastery. So we are good here. This is this looks like a, like a great build. Oh, oh, I had to clutch my chest there, chat. What the f*** is that? What is this build? What are these pieces? Nah, bro is cooking. A five-star meal, dude. Holy moly. 40 CV, 42 elemental mastery. Wait. Every piece I've seen so far is four line. This is four line. This is four line. 40 CV, 42 EM. This is four line. 42 CV, 19 EM, one flat HP roll. Wait a minute, that EM is low? It's low because it's not EM time piece. 140 EM is good for this build, considering it does not ha not have EM time piece. So they'll have to get it from external sources, which is totally fine. This this build is insane. Is your onset pyro goblet really good? I'm I'm afraid. What's your off piece? 31 crit rate, 27 crit damage, 40 EM, 4 attack. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty solid. This one is perfect, but it doesn't look perfect, right, chat? Two rolls crit damage, one roll HP, one roll EM. Wait, they actually have a is this zero wasted substat? This is zero wasted. That's zero wasted because these are both four line pieces. This is 100% zero wasted. That's zero wasted. This is the only piece that can improve. Your off piece is your worst piece. How can that be? How can this Hu Tao build be so good? How is your mask still the worst piece on this build? Wow, imagine. Couldn't be me, man. Insane. This is this is a beautiful Hu Tao. Is there anything you can improve? The only thing you can feasibly improve is a four line mask and like one rule of crit damage and this attack is HP instead. Uh, Farina, how do you already have friendship 10? Let me, wait, how much resin did you use? I only have friendship four and I used like 5,000. How do you already have friendship 10? I used around 180 fragiles Farina, holy ballsack. And this is the end result. They spent 180 fragile resin for this Farina build. You got a 30 CV 11 recharge piece here. You have a 33 CV 4 HP piece here. Your time piece is 31 CV. Your goblet is not hydro, but it's HP and it's 40 CV. Mask is 38.1 crit damage. Well, you definitely did not use this fragile for this mask because this mask is an off piece. Um, how was the build overall? You really didn't find a Hydro Goblet or a really good onset mask in 180 fragile resin? Damn, this game hates you, to be honest. Um, how are the stat distribution? Looks well, okay. Um, I think people will comment about your recharge. Uh, if you're using her properly with Constellation 6, you should not have energy recharge problems. So I will not judge that recharge. It is purely up to your build. But a lot of people who watch these or, you know, look at their own Farina, this recharge is strictly a C4 to C6 only recharge level. Um, anything below that will not be functional with this. If you're doing Monohydro, you'll be fine. If you're doing Vaporize, you will have issues with this recharge. You will not have 100% uptime. If you're doing anything related to that, if you're doing a one shot, then it doesn't matter. Uh, you're right in, please. Is it better if I switch to ER attack? ER or attack? Oh, let's see. That recharge is looking like it needs the timepiece. That recharge is a bit low. I'm not, not too much of a fan of that. I mean, even with engulfing, it's 248. But let me see. So did you go Electro Goblet and attack timepiece? You did. So depends on your substats. Let's see what your substats. Uh, if Feather is excellent. Oh. Ah, uh, I see. 
This is actually not even that bad. 20 crit damage with 19 defense. Okay. If we force him to go ER timepiece, then I think his crit ratio will suffer a little bit too much. It's currently at 7150 with engulfing lightning. It's a little bit too too hard to replace this piece, is it not? If you were to replace this piece, you would probably off piece your flower. That is the only way that I can see you doing this. A better build is to run ER timepiece, but you don't want to throw away this current crit ratio that you have, so it's it's up it's up for grabs. My work in progress, Farina. C1, Splendor of Tranquil Waters. Uh, ER time beast is needed here. Seems good. Crit rate's low. Crit rate is low. Goblet is really good. Insane goblet. Feather, not that poggers. Time fe flower. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of a crit rate mask here. I know that your mask is pretty good here, but 65 crit rate is a little bit too painful to look at. In order for you to run that crit damage mask, you would need a timepiece that has crit rate on it and your flower to be a little bit stronger rolled. That's the only way. Currently, it's not, not acceptable, so. Risley. Oh! R5 cash flow supervision. C6 R5. Triple crown. Four Mara Chaussee. 54-253. That's a good ratio. That ratio works with basically every build, right? 90% effective crit rate. If you wanted to run it in a cryo build, then that extra crit rate would put you over cap, but not by too much. The attack is also at a pretty good margin. Recharge is not necessary. Rise is not a recharge dependent character, so that is all good. Um, Artifacts. Dude, it's so weird seeing Risley builds because his crit rate is so low from artifacts. His crit rate is so high. Okay, what we got? Oh, I see. Okay, low roll on the crit rate there. Otherwise, it would have been really nice. That is unfortunate how low that crit rate is. Timepiece. Okay, it's pretty good. It's got the 1020. It's, it was there. It just low rolled the crit damage. Crowd damage bonus. Wow, this is your off piece. You don't have a double crit here? Are you early game player? Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised. AR, AR58 does not have double crit crowd damage bonus. While that being said, you don't technically need the crit rate on this piece. Uh, if you had a more perfect piece, that would enable you to potentially roll harder on other pieces. Like for this one, you could go higher crit damage and less crit rate. Um, this one as well. Same same kind of concept. Uh, the mask, it does what it needs to do, but it's kind of pretty, right? Pretty low value here. What can we really squeeze out of this then? In order to improve this build, it seems like more attack percent rolls. Maybe even elemental mastery if you're doing a little bit of like... The Ben Mary comp or something. But for the most part, yeah, it's it looks good. C6 Farina. Hey, this is the first one that I think actually does... Oh, besides the HP Goblet. It was close. If this had a Hydro Goblet, I would actually... It would actually be almost there. But it's HP Goblet, which is unfortunately a little smooth, but that's okay. Uh, your time piece also does not have crit damage at all, which would push you up into an even more impressive build. Um, but this is the first of four Mara, Mara Sussy attempt that I've seen, and it looks just like I would expect. You probably would cap out at 300 crit damage. I could easily see you getting that if you had 20% crit damage on your time piece and 20% on your goblet. So that's her capped out range is 6,300 is probably what you can expect from her if you go Mars Sussy build. Otherwise, her build will be 85 to 50 in other cases. Artifact wise, off piece mass looks great. Goblet, hope you can get a Hydro in the future, but otherwise 35 CV is good. Time piece, mid. Feather, okay. And then flower, okay as well. That's not bad. This might be an ER Sans angle. No, you have really high recharge. How are you getting that with... Oh, uh, your subsets. Whoa! This guy has busted artifact rolls. If you can achieve this crit ratio with plus 94, wow. That's not easy. Okay, that's very nice. That's very lovely. Okay, that one. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, This one is what it is. Hydro damage bonus goblet. URC2 makes sense. Okay. Wow. So that's a good piece. That's a great piece. That's a great piece. This is a sh piece. And that is an okay piece. We're close to done. Time piece. One day you'll get something. Try to get 10 crit rate on it. It's what you need. It's what the build needs. It'll put you at 80% crit rate. 
then your build will be finished. Um, for your specific case, I still think that this research is good. I do not recommend you go HP. Uh, if you do replace that, then your recharge drops too low. So it's either 140 or 194, and 194 is better. 89. Oh, key of Kajna suit. Okay. This is not a bad weapon. Do you have ER here? Do you have enough ER? Let's see. ER is going to be your problem. Yeah. Okay. So we can fix. This is not that bad to fix. Your key build is going to be capped at about 70 to 150 or 80 to 160. So this is not that far off. How are your pieces? That's pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, uh, that's really good. This needs to be energy recharge for your current build to function properly. ER, HP. Oh, your goblet is painful. Wow, that is unfortunate. That is probably just where your stats went. If you had decent substats on this goblet, you would look a lot more promising. You're missing anywhere between 30 CV on that piece. Eventually, you'll get it. Yeah, so this, this is an ER timepiece angle and then fix your goblet. When you fix your goblet, you'll probably lose this recharge. So that's why you just put it here. It's fine. And this one's not even that amazing. 21 crit damage. Yeah. But overall, I mean, it's not bad. The build, the build is is what it is, right? It's not it's not as bad as you think it is. It's just weaker than crit, uh, Splendor. Splendor build. Staff. Two two piece. Okay, your artifact subsets better be insane. Hey, this was pretty giga chat chat. 12 12, low rolls, okay. 10 20, okay. 10 20, okay. Beautiful piece. That's on 4 Mara Sussy as well. 30 CV, 18 recharge. This is crazy, by the way. You'd actually love to have this piece. This is good. That's a good piece. Um, yeah. It is what it is. That's a nice John Lee. He slaps. C6 R3 again. Golden Troop. 10 10. Bro actually has a solid build. But this recharge is problematic. Okay. 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 These pieces, I feel like you just had lying around. You do need some recharge. I would sacrifice the goblet and get something similar, but with like six to ten recharge. It would help you build a lot. Uh, your your build your work your build is a work in progress though for sure. <clears throat> but it's not anything crazy. I like the high crit rate. That's what you get plus points on. Tome of the Eternal Flow for Mara Sussy C zero nine normal attack. 100.9 crit, 309 crit damage. Is your recharge okay? Your recharge does not look that okay. This recharge is looking like a little bit of a struggle bus. And I would probably recommend you cut your crit damage to get make room uh, for recharge. But let's see the first stats at it, okay? Low roll crit rate, otherwise would have been 50 CV. Oh my, what the fuck is that? Okay, mid, not that bad, but looks mid. Hydro bonus goblet. Okay. Seems fair. You know what this might Wieners, be, Wieners, brother? Wieners, you might need the flower to be modified slightly for more recharge. And that is gonna hurt. 1020 with recharge subset is better than this piece. Are you using Farina with Nuv? If you have a better HP goblet, you should do it. Because it's stronger. That's about it. Otherwise, really solid. Um, improve my Eula since last. What the? am I looking at chat? Song of Broken Pines, 213 crit damage. What the f Didn't I already put your build on YouTube? Like your recharge is out of the f Look at your, your recharge subsets are insane. Your crit damage is insane. Your crit rate is basically capped. Rosari is plus 30. So it's 97 effective. What can you marginally improve here? Oh, it's your timepiece. That kind of sucks. That's not that easy, brother. Catch R5, looks good. Four emblem, okay. C0, triple crown, okay. 77, 150. That looks good. Your timepiece, is that ER timepiece? It is, right, chat? Oh, it is, okay. Just looked a little bit off. The recharge looked a little bit lower than I thought. Oh, that's because catch has lower base recharge. I'm corned. Okay, never mind. I'm good. Yeah, this, this build looks basically finished, right? I mean, this could be better, but that's just CV diff. That's actually really good. Two attack rolls is basically a four, basically 40 CV, five attack, but it's 27 CV, 15 attack. Same thing. Um, I will not speak on that piece. Your goblet is a little corned though. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If you're running the catch, attack goblet's better. This, you only keep this if you plan on running engulfing lightning on her. And if you do not, if you never plan on pulling engulfing lightning, then you trade this for attack. 
Just letting you know. Okay. Uh, that's the probably the only optimization. This is insane. That's great. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see first what the type of fish is. This auto attack fish This might be. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Skyward harp with golden droop. Maybe it's a hybrid fish Who knows? C6. Uh, okay. 81, 170, 168 recharge. This looks good. If you're golden troop. No, your base attack is good. If you're a golden troop, you might opt for a more specific. Oh. You know what you should do? This build would be stronger if you went attack EM on these two pieces instead of energy recharge electro. Good. Good. Don't need recharge on her. That's mid, doing its best. That one's okay. There's a lot to improve here still. Definitely don't need energy recharge though. I, I attack her EM here. And then whatever you don't have here, you put on here. That's better with Golden Droop. That's like the optimization you would make. So attack her EM and then EM her attack. Uh, Electro Goblet is fine. This is more necessary to change. That's about it. Arena, C6, R5. Wait, Founder's build is, oh. And then I saw two piece, two piece. That's an XDD moment. I mean, the substats are good, of course, right? 84.5260, like insane substats, but it's not four piece anything. Yeah, not four piece anything, which means you're losing, losing a lot of stat off. Well, that sucks, Founder, because your pieces are insane. 17 crit right there, 40, 42, 31, 32, actually. This one's mid, 42, yeah. Marine Nudge. Splendor of Tranquil Waters, four piece golden troop, C6. Holy, how many C6s, guys? Y'all are filthy whales. You guys call me a whale? You guys are the filthy whales. I've seen like more C6s than C0s. 79, 235, 120 recharge. Okay, passable on all stats, but not amazing in anything, which means that there is definitely room to improve. Can improve. It's 35. Actually, good. Like that one. That one's a good piece. 1020, pretty standard piece. Hydro Goblet. Ooh, this one's mid. Uh, this one's a saddies. This one is a flat HP roll. It's a double low roll HP. It's three line. Crit damage is mediocre. It's like 6.6. .6. Uh, but it's on set, which is nice. We love on set. So you'll get plus points for on set. Okay, Mask is really good. Feather is really good. Goblet is meh. Flower is one roll possible to upgrade. And Timepiece is good. So the only thing you can feasibly do is get more CV on your goblet, which completes your build probably at almost 90 crit rate. 90, 235 is your finished build. Uh, who Tau? Crimson Witch, C0, double crown, normal attack focus, 63, 230. Okay, so this one's definitely lower on the crit value. Elemental Mastery is good, HP is good. Crit rate, mm, a little sag. Stat-wise, 1.3-ish. It's hanging in there. Um, that's a good piece. Uh, that's a good piece. Are you on an... Ah. Uh, I knew something was fishy here, chat. I saw the artifacts. That's, I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't look like a low crit value build. And I was like, wait a minute. That HP was high and the EM was high as well. So this is an HP mask attempt. Can you do... I was four line. Brothers, that was four line. That could have been the piece. That was four line. But I rolled into flat defense. Okay, so yours is passable, right? If we're looking at this build objectively from your pieces, the mask is good enough to keep. If you want to keep that, then what we want is okay th this high crit rate is necessary you're gonna need to switch out your flower you're gonna want a higher crit rate flower it's gonna have to be at least 14 percent crit rate for you to call your build finished if you can get 70 crit rate without a crit mass then i would say it's a dub but until then it's a little bit inefficient otherwise it's pretty pretty good pretty pretty strong start to get there uh almost done with my novelette uh, this one is Asia for Snoopy. C6 Nov, Crown Normal Attack, R2 Tome. Crit rate is 46.6%. Not a super big fan. The, your effective crit rate is 82. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit of an overall here. It's your Hydro Goblet diff, isn't it? It is. Should I change my Goblet to HP with better CV? Yes, and then use Farina with him. Thumbs up. That is how to solve that problem, by the way. Yeah, you run an HP Goblet here, you put Farina, and then you have the damage bonus from Farina, and then you're done. Otherwise, the other stats are basically near perfect, right? 
Mask has zero wasted stats. Timepiece is... Uh, Feather has defense, but it's four line. And then Flower is 40. Standard. Zombie came back to the game and is named Farina Guardian. Oh, you really like her, don't you? You came back to the game just for the... Zombie, you hate Genshin Impact with a passion. How the f*** did you get baited to C6 her? I've seen you... You've complained about this game for literally 24 months. And then Farina comes out and everything is just all dandy and fine. I see. Nice. Good job. Good job, man. Can you cut... You want to cut 10 ER? Oh, you're C6. Yeah, you can. My yeah, if you're C6, you can cut 10 ER. Try to get more current, by the way. You know, 136 is totally fine. Your crit stats suck, brother. This is what happens when you don't play the game for a long time. Wait, your Hydro Goblin is actually good, though. <laughs> this is the pinnacle of great... <laughs> Oh, this this mask is the pinnacle of greatness. All right, Yelan. Yelan, Aqua Simulacra, four piece emblem, C1, triple crown. Brother, what the f is this? You're not. What the f is your crit rate? Okay, but your mask is kind of Giga Chad. Those stats are kind of good. What the f? More crit rate, please. Good enough, I guess. Oh my god, dude. Just. <sighs> people, your build is so f bad. I'm just gonna say it, okay? You deserve it. Your build's garbage. There is no other word to describe your build's garbage. Your mask is good. Everything else is garbage, okay? Your mask is actually insane. Everything else is mid. All right. Um, what was your dono even about? Oh, yes, you revered Farina. Splendor of Tranquil Waters, four golden troops, C0. Eight. Okay. It's almost really good. Oh, you need an HP goblin. Oh. Hey, foodie monster. Do you mind getting C2? Thoughts? Thoughts? That goblin is way too good not to use, bro. This goblin is too... I, dude. This goblin... I cannot tell. This is... This is a dream goblin. The normal attack is questionable. Um, they're really good. Wait, foodie, you achieved 160 recharge purely off of substat. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. Your build is actually really good. Please pull C2. There is no way I can fix that build. That is a pull C2 or it's doomed build. Yoimiya, Thundering Pulse, Four Shimanawa, C0, Double Crowned, 66, 232. Crit, crit rate is okay but i would really like it to be a little bit higher all right you definitely have some room for it uh good 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 mod check stats where are the stats hello mod check ding dong hello where are the stats where are the stats mod check hey fix your goblet that's it you you can't really do anything else it's a fix your goblet or ff go next angle solar pearl okay glad c6 I guess it's as good as you can get it. 1.5. Nice. 58 flat defense. Okay, though. No crit rate, but... Oh, are you using crit rate mask here? You are. That mask is a little sad. I am not going to lie. Okay. These pieces are all relatively sad. It kind of looks like she has leftovers, to be honest. But it is what it is. It is passable. It is what it is. Um, I think that... There is only one piece that I would keep here. That's your flower. Everything else, I would try to squeeze out at least one or two or even three rolls out of. Depends. Uh, Ito. Brother, what is going on? C0, okay. If you're C0, you actually need some recharge. This recharge is good, but what the fuck is that crit, right? Serpent Spine. You don't have a crit damage mask? Hmm. Okay, good. That one's good. Uh, that one's okay. Good enough. Oh, that one's great. That one just doesn't have crit rate. Yeah, why don't you just go crit damage mask? Your build is totally fine if you have crit damage mask here. Is this... Are, are you supposed to have red horn on him, by the way? If you had red horn, this would be insane. That's what I'm feeling, man. I'm feeling this is supposed to be a red horn build. But if it's not, then you should go crit damage mask. You don't have a crit damage mask or red horn. Well, that's the only piece that you could really... That's what you're working towards. Every other piece is pretty good in this build. Besides the goblet, but it's on set, so yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it looks normal so far. Okay, it looks normal so far. Okay, it's norm. 
Why does she have 20k HP? What is this build? What is going on in this build? Okay, that's not that bad. Okay. Okay, actually a real review for once? Actually a real review. I don't know about the ER sands, but those substats are crazy. You know what I'm thinking? It might be an attack circlet angle, but you have Shenha. No, you have Shenha. You, you have to run this build. Both of these pieces not having any crit rate hurts your build a lot. Really does. This had seven and this had seven as well. That'd be 14 <sighs> crit rate. Be 45. Yeah, you'd be good. Guys. Guys, I repeat, we have a problem. The amount of C6R5s is too f***ing high. Okay. Okay. Looks as standard as a C6 could be. The crit rate is in a good spot. The crit damage is in a good spot. The reacher is on the lower end, but it is... It is what it is. Um, Stat-wise, what do we have? Okay, good recharge there. Uh, good recharge there. 35 CV. Hydro Goblet with 35 CV. 14 crit rate. Oh, that is good. This recharge is low roll, so that's kind of sad. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good from what, from what I see it. It's good. Is it worth sacrificing crit for a Hydro Goblet? For Nibelet? Prototype Amber. These, this crit damage is actually good considering they're not using Tome. Tome of the Eternal Flow would give them 88, so they'd be at 300. <sighs> so this one's actually fine. Is it worth sacrificing crit for Hydro Goblet though? That is insane. That's juiced. That is good enough. Hey, it's looking like you should pull for Farina and then your HP Goblet won't be useless. <laughs> How are you ever gonna change some of these pieces? This is on set. This is... That is really good. This is great. <sighs> that is amazing, dude. For your current build, I would honestly just stick with this. Because you are you have Prototype Amber, which means that your crit stats are more valuable than someone with a Tome. Um, for that reason, it might not be worth... If your Hydro Goblet is just minus 20 CV, you hurt your build too much. Yeah. Is your recharge okay, by the way, with Prototype Amber? 12 energy... 113 recharge seems a little bit low personally things so. seems a little bit low, but that's just me. Yep. Okay Uh, stat the Scarlet Sands, oh, Sinjo Evan, four piece good, C2, dude. okay Uh, double crown, okay looks good 85, 245, 132 recharge, 343 VEM I don't think you need a review, I'm going to be honest What part of this looks like it needs a review? Oh, yes, yeah, I don't think this needs a review, that's a, that's a perfect feather uh, flower is basically the feather, just sh rolls. Uh, 1020 EM timepiece. You are a dirty high roller on this goblet. I see. Okay. That is a dirty high roll goblet. Mask? Oh my! Oh, I recharge mask seems to be the trend nowadays. That's very good. Yeah, this doesn't need review. It looks perfect. I would not change anything. There, there, this is great stat distribution, good recharge, good EM, good yep. How does my Farina build look now? C0, Golden Troop, Splendor. Foodie, what was your build before? This one looks amazing. I don't know what your build was before, but if I said it was sh I don't know what you were cooking because this one is insane. This one's got everything. Oh, I see. You have this. I see. You're f***ing lucky. You have a f***ing 42 goblet. Yeah, this looks really good. This is really good. You, you, this is a, this is a great build. Nice build. Okay, H, that's it. Um, but his HP is low now. That's fine. They have. To, if you're running Splendor, you have to sack your HP. Your recharge is mo more important than anything. And they have HP Goblet, so they're doing what they can do. This is this says. Oh, you're not level 90 yet. You get 600 more base HP. You should level that up. Okay, what the f is that? I do not know how to speak in this situation. Arena Flower. I just saw this piece. Now I have to see it again because you're f***ing cringe. Oh my god, I just f***ing saw the same exact thing on the goblet.